Hello, my name is Christopher from Big Bear Tech World, and today I'm going to show you how to SSH into a Proxmox container. This makes it to where you can easily go into your container and you can uh, get your storage volumes off or anything like that. So, um, before I get started, a little bit about this series is uh, we're going to start a smart home from scratch. So, I'm going over installing the software to uh, get into home automations, everything like that. So, if you like that, subscribe, comment, like. And let's get started. So if I go in my terminal uh, and do SSH and root hat and then the IP address, I'm going to be presented with a password sign in. You can see it's going to fail because Proxmox is not allowing it inside of the uh, container. So we're going to fix that. So I have a guest right here that walks you through the instructions and I'll link it down in the uh, description. Okay, so if you're using Proxmox, you need to open up a SSH or run the following demands. So I'm going to set up a root password. And you can see I'm working with uh, scripted on that one. So, so I'm in the scripted container. I'm going to go to console. And then I have my terminal right here. So I'm going to paste in the command that I just. So I'm going to put in a password. And it says password updated successfully. So now I'm going to go over to enable SSH. So I'm going to go. And I'm going to paste in nano, etc, ssh, and then go to the config. So now I'm going to um, look for permit root login down here. I'm going to take off the comment on it and anything with the uh, with this, the hashtag will ha will be a comment. So I'm going to change the prohibit password. We'll change it to yes. And then I'm going to um, go back over to the SSH. So you, you can see I got without password right here. You're going to change this to yes. Then we're going to just restart the SSH. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to uh, save this file. I'm going to do control X. And then I'm going to press Y for yes. Then I'm going to press return or, or enter. So this file has been updated now with nano. So I'm going to paste in the restart command. So system CTL restart SSHD. So I'm going to restart the SSH. And that is how to get a container ready for SSH. So I'm going to show you now that you can SSH into the container. I'm in my terminal. And um, I'm going to do SSH and then root and then 192, 168, and then it's already got completed. So now I'm going to type in the password that we put inside of the, um, uh, we changed it inside the sudo password and then uh, root. We put that new password in, so you're going to use that in here. I'm going to type my password in. Okay, you can see that I did successfully uh, go into the container, and it's a scripted container. So I'm going to just test and see. Okay, you can see that it is working now, and we can access all the files. We can rsync from here. So it's working. So there you have it. I just walked you through SSHing into a Proxmox container, get it all set up from start to finish. And uh, this makes it to where you can get your files off of the container. Like if you're using Portainer, you can easily back up your volumes with rsync or anything like that, or Cyberduck or anything that you can SSH into. So if you like my tutorials, subscribe, comment, like. And also, um, if you need any help, uh, join the Big Bear community. It'll be down in the description. And stay tuned for more.